Welcome back to Hyperlight Drifter. And uh, I was just about to say, um, you can notice the size of the character within the screen here, which is, uh, he's not super big. Also, you can notice the camera. Notice how the camera always places the, uh, the character some distance away uh, to be able to see further in front of him. Which works really well. So, and I think he always sees the same distance. Uh, the camera doesn't pan as much on wide screens because uh, there's obviously more screen, more screen size. This is the monster we saw earlier in the distance. Ah, well that's a trap. And that is a healing thing. having trouble aiming I'm having trouble aiming but aiming is actually not that uh, precise you don't have to oh Ooh, no you can notice a little screen shake when you uh, hit the enemies for for a greater impact Oh, this is a button. All right. Combat is pretty satisfying. A lot of distant stuff. Uh, these guys. You know, there there's no one that really dashes after I mean I mean it's a dash, but it's not it's a it's a um, an attack. A dash attack, it's not just running after you. Ooh. Oh no. And when you kill enemies, the environment changes. Which is really interesting. No. Yeah, when you kill enemies, it destroys uh, it. Um, it changes this environment, which I really like. Clever idea.
a lot of the uh, the look of the game is done through lighting, subtle lighting, or an uh, an overlay of subtle lighting, I guess. I am not good at aiming. You can also not aim while uh, while moving. Okay, it's it's tough. It's a uh, because you don't get as many hits as you think you will. Oh, that is not good. Wait, what? Oh no, that's stupid though. Oh, okay, well this is the first uh, dumb thing. I respawned. I have less enemy than when uh, less energy than when I died, and. Uh, I I lost my health. Okay, well there's there's two healths here, but still, why would you? I clearly struggled in the previous section, and you're go going to start me off with fewer resources. Like this is the Dark Souls model. The Dark Souls model is okay. Well, you did you did poorly, so we're gonna penalize you for doing po poorly, and it's gonna be more difficult to move forward. I don't understand that model at all like why why that is just hitting your players at that point There are a lot of scattered health things, so it's not that bad, but still. It's just not necessary. <laughs> well, that was fun. Yay, I may be leveled up. Yeah, I got a level up coin. The whole aesthetic of the uh, of the monsters scattered around, like these arms and whatnot, really speaks to me.
Huh. That's interesting. So, it doesn't want me to go back easily into the level. Okay, so I have... I have one here. Which... I need to go from here, I guess. There's a lot of stuff that seem feels like it's interactable. I don't I think this is not where I was before, right? I think this is different. Hopefully. Yeah, this is. Okay. I could have gone back to level up. I should have gone back to level up. I now realize. Okay. doesn't show but this this uh, jump here answers one of my questions um, in terms of level design like that's the only place where you can do that move, do that move and uh, that's that's the kind of stuff I'm noticing right now how levels are are built I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. You that's a passage? What? Oh no. Why? Well, it's fine. You, I restart here. I lost everything. Oh, I did not. Okay. Huh. Nah. Both. Nah. Left. Nah. Both. Nah. There we go. Well, apparently I can't destroy that. That's a lot of stuff at once. That was a lot of stuff attacking me. go easy need 
Need more bullets. I think I regain bullets when I get attacked as well. I'm not sure. I think it tried to trap me and it failed. Okay. Also, I think I'm supposed to be trapped with that monster. Huh. I wonder if it... There you go! <laughs> There's one way to do it. I like the trails on the side because it's very difficult to uh, get a feel for where the uh, block actually moves to. No! Mm. That's a very long way away. There are some games that I'm fine with... Um restarting from the beginning or close to but I don't think this is one of them because I think it might have to do with how fast it is to get back into the action I don't know it's not that long Well, that's not a cool pattern. I'm not a fan of this. No. Oh, that was the worst time to go. That was the worst time to go. And now I'm officially wasting time. And that is that is a big no-no for me. Like, respawn me with bullets. Please respawn me with bullets, because now I, I need to spend all this time shooting stuff and kind of re recovering bullets. It's not necessary. Just respawn me with bullets, man. And I know why they don't. It, they don't because they're... Um, it's just a save state. It's saving me exactly as I was, which, you know... Is not great because that means that you can be stuck. You can be stuck it with a save that has no health, no bullets, and that's um, that's gonna be a problem.
Oh crap! There's a there's an upgrade. Okay, I do need the upgrade though. How do I do this? No. Okay. So the reason why I died is because when you press forward, I don't think it starts immediately. Yeah, you see that? There, there's a really slight delay. That delay is what killed me. The first step, like it, it took a, like that delay is a lot longer than it seems. I'd, I'll probably, I probably will, but it's not a fun challenge. Like, I don't know, I'm not having fun with this challenge. I would not have put this challenge in my game. And, you know, it's... It's the kind of thing, I think, where... A normal player will, will go through this and feel satisfied once they've, they've accomplished it. And I don't. I don't have that, I, I've often mentioned. I do not get this sense of accomplishment that other people do for video games. That's why... Uh, I don't care about difficulty levels because it's it's just a game like that is I I, I completely abstract out the uh, importance of a game in um, the, the larger scale of things so What the hell? That felt longer too. <clears throat> no, it's not that I, 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 I don't get satisfaction from overcoming a challenge in a video game. I get I get satisfaction from exploring environments and discovering stuff. So when the game gets in and gets in the way of me discovering more, then yeah, I I lose satisfaction. That's what happened. You know what? That's exactly what happened. I fell into my idle animation and because there's a time before you can restart after the idle, um I got killed by the thing. So that's not good, actually. It, 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 no, that's not. If I die because of this, it is a terrible feature. Uh, just to give you an example, now. Yeah, it takes about a second before my movement starts, and I died because of that. That is not acceptable, because now I have to do this all the time, just to make sure I don't go into my idle animation. Ugh! There you go. Oh crap. First, second. What? All three. All three. First. Okay. After all three, I need to go. Uh, this one. This one. Okay. These are really complex patterns. Hmm. Hmm. 
both. Yeah, I, I do not like these patterns. I really don't like them. And I really... I, I'm sorry. I really hate the idle animation that takes a second to get out. Like, it is shitty when you're waiting for blocks to move that they would put you in an idle animation that takes a second to get out of. It is not good design. That is shitty design. Unacceptable. It's so specific in timing! Why would you make your controls less specific? Come on! No. No, no, no. Unacceptable. No! Don't, don't give me that bullshit don't be idle! Fuck that! That is a douchebag... I don't like those comments at all. I'm sorry. I really, really take offense to it. Because I think it's a shitty th mm. That's like telling a poor person just be fucking rich. No, I don't I don't I will not stand for douchebag statements like those. Yeah, I knew I would die. It's not to increase the challenge. It's dumb, it's shitty, it is amateurish. There is no reason why. It's there because an artist just went, it would be beautiful. Well, guess what? It sucks. It sucks when your design is based around precision. If you want your game to be precise, then make it precise. Don't make this shitty system. Like, no. No, no, no. No. Okay. Um, I'm getting my... Like, I'm getting my ass handed to me, but... See, th this part doesn't bother me as much because I'll figure it out. And I don't need to wait a long time before being allowed to try again. For me, it's all about how long before the game allows me to do something. What happened? So... I don't know what happened. I was I was attacking the enemies. I was dodging, and then the the um, the character just went. You know what? I'm gonna swing my sword and slam it to the ground. Enemies didn't uh, stopped moving. I stopped having control. I didn't level up. I don't think I leveled up. I don't. I didn't gain anything. Leveling leveling up takes things. I didn't attack. I didn't do anything. It's, it wasn't an, a lag spike, it was an animation out of nowhere. It was a victory animation. I think the game thought I had won, even though there were still enemies there. I think that's what happened. It was bizarre, whatever it was. Is that the same as the same pattern as I uh, I was on earlier? Yeah, I think it was. Well, I can't see it now. Yep, it was. Okay, so I can go back to that place I was at earlier. I don't like that animation. <laughs> Is there is there an option to remove the dumb idle animation? Please, ah, oh, come on, like it is, it it breaks the game. It breaks the game in a way. Uh, 
Um, it's the odd, it's the odd thing out. Um, because obviously most of the game is fine. Yeah, I'm gonna put, yeah, just make an idle game. Alright, uh, we're gonna do one more. One more episode of this. Stick around more, uh, Hyperlag Drifter right after this. This being a day if you're on YouTube. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out some games I've made, like Arrow Light Core. Alright, until next time, peace out!